All right, man, we finally got snow. Are we starting that snow plowing business you were talking about? Yeah, I was thinking it would be the best time to do it. So we got to get a hitches put on these vehicles because currently we don't really have a way to actually attach snow plows. Wait, what vehicles are we taking? All right, so the four-wheeler or six-wheeler or whatever you want to call yep. it, this Outlander, definitely want to put one on here because this will be great for like the little streets. All right, I'll get it fired up, warmed up, and you think you can put a mount on it? Yep, I think it should fit on perfectly, and we can do it at your new dealership. Yep, so yep, be we'll do it at the shop. That'll work good. And then I'll show you the other vehicle once we're there, but let's head down. You think your car can make it through the snow, man? Oh, man, it can make it through anything. Are you sure? I measured it. This, we got about nine inches, almost a foot of snow. This thing will act as a snowplow, worst comes to worst. There we go, up and over the snow mound. This thing's a tank. I bet you can't do that, boss man. Oh, jeez, he's oh, shot through there like a cannon. Yeah, I, I can't do the mound, but I can do anywhere else. Come on, boss man, where you at? Oh, jeez, he's coming. He's coming quick. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. Oh, don't squirrel out. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. The bridge is icy. The bridge is icy. Hit the brakes, man. Let's get that welder going. The torch. We're going to need to do some metal work here. Yes, sir. So, yeah, I was thinking we'll get one plow in here, and the next one will go on this Chevy. Okay, so we just got to work up some plow mounts. I got some scrap metal. We'll work something together. We're expert welders. Oh, yeah. Let's get to it. And we got them installed. The four-wheeler turned out really good. I think that's pretty clean. And then you have the winch there, so the winch will hook onto the plow, raise it up and down. I think we got to manually turn it, though, unless we get some hydraulics going. Boss, man, you did this, didn't you? Yes, sir. This one turned out pretty good. And we also put hitches on, like, the vehicles, so, like, the backs of them and all of that jazz. In the bed, we have the goosenecks now. Yeah, that way if we get stuck, then we can just rip her out. But these should be good, so I was thinking we head to town and get some used plows. Dibs on the four-wheeler. This is pretty cool. Snowstorm, I get to drive down the middle of the road. The city did a really good job at cleaning up the place, but boss man beat me down here. Sounds like you already talked to the guy, and these plows are set up, ready to go. Hopefully this fits my TV. Does that one work for you, boss man? That one's... Hey, it says the boss on it. That's pretty... That's perfect. Yeah, this one should work good. Those are pretty nice plows. I know they're heavy, high quality. And then here, swing them both forward. So, so you got to catch some snow. You don't want to dribble it off just like that. Yep, there that's pretty go. nice. All right, I'll pay for them. So then I get all the money when we plow, and then I'll just pay you 10 bucks an hour. Uh, make it 12. Okay, 725. That's the minimum wage. Perfect. So I'm thinking get that attached and we'll start off by heading back over to our dealership and well, your dealership and getting that thing cleaned up so we can have customers. That works. Since we're here, is the police station plowed yet? Uh, some of it is, but we could do a better job. Yeah, let's go clean up the police station. That'll save us a trip. All right, here we go. First time using the plow on this ATV. See how slick this is. Nice and slow. I'll keep my traction. This is a six by six. It's not a four wheeler anymore, technically. Heck, I don't even know where the boss man. That's not even the driveway. Yeah, the driveway is right over here. Look no. at where we have our signs. There you go. All right, let's watch you. Oh yeah, dude, that thing's a whistling beast. There we go. All right, drop her down. Let's get plowing. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. Push it off to the side. I can only push for so long and then it's a little too much weight for the six wheeler. Oh, I bet it is. This is some heavy snow. Nine inches of wet heavy snow. That's a lot to work with. Yep, but we can get it done. That's why we have both these. You can get the little stuff, I'll get the big stuff. Yep, especially if they're sidewalks too. Like this will be perfect for starting out our business. Let us know if any of you guys actually push snow in real life. Like how are we supposed to do this? What's the best way to do it? But boss man, we, we do need some customers. What, who are some of our upcoming customers? So I was talking to the local logging business, a uh, lumber yard, and they were interested. So now that we have the equipment, we can show them what we got and see if they think we're up for the challenge. Man, the driver goes so far. I thought it was just like a little section we had no, to do No, no, I must have been the one doing all the work. But let us know wh what you guys have to do when it snows. Do you guys have like a snow plow on like a lawnmower? Do you have a snow blower? Do you just use shovels? Most of the time growing up, I just, we always had shovels and stuff. And then is, how big's your driveway? Does it take like a few hours to plow? All right, teamwork makes the dream work. Let's get her done. Okay, there you go. Move it or lose it. Try not to hit the plows together. This stuff's expensive. Well, I guess you paid for it, so not my problem if it breaks. <laughs> All right, man, this looks really good. Nice work. The four-wheeler did great. How, how was your truck? Did you like it? You've been doing a pretty good job. Definitely holds a lot more snow yeah. than yours does, so that's good. But we got to get moving, man. We can't keep spending this much time on each 
place. Like, we aren't even paid hey, for this. Hey, when we do something, boss man, we do it right. Okay, well then let's head out and do the next job just as right. Last one, there's Rotten Egg, and boss man's ahead of me. Let's catch him. I don't know if he knows I'm behind him. Oh, we're topping out the four there. It actually goes a bit slower with the plow in front. Come on, we ain't gonna beat him. We ain't gonna beat him. Here we go. This is gonna be a really fun one to plow. Should not take as long. We have good places to put the snow. All right, I always wanted to do this. Okay, real quick. We gotta do this, boss man. Do not plow any snow yet. Boss man, go ahead, open the garage doors, fire them up. Let's go. Let's do it. Jump in your truck, drop her down. Let's see it. The first plow of the first new shop. Here we go. Get a good push. I said get a good push. I think you, you dug in too deep, man. No, I'm good. I'm good. There you got it. You got it. Nice. Here That's awesome. Here we go. Where do, where do I go now? Just like I don't, push it doesn't, the road? It doesn't matter. Yeah, push it across the road. You always wanted to do this. This has got to be the best feeling in the world. You're in your garage. Your foiler's nice and warm. It's not snowy. It's not icy. You drop down your plow, turn it to the side, and you go in just a fresh push. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I will get close to the building, and you move the majority of the snow. I'll, I'll get the snow up close. I would say do exactly what you're doing. Push kind of from the road. Here we go. Good work. Watch the tree. Oh, yeah. I've hit it a few times, and that's even without a plow. That's my favorite tree, man. Heck, yeah. This is so much fun. You having fun, boss man? Oh, yeah. How are you doing out there in the cold? Hey, I'm sweating. I'm having so much fun. I'm, I'm too excited. I'm not cold at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm nice and toasty. Heated steering wheel in this thing. I love it. Yeah, I got nice gloves. You going around the whole building? I'm trying to. You'll have to get close to the building, though, because yeah. I can't get too close. All right, good work, boss man. I'll button up the shop here. You get heading to the lumber yard. Did you say button up the shop? Yeah, like shut the doors, turn off the lights, make sure all everything's locked. That's what I mean. I don't know why I said button, but okay. You know, button it up, like clean it up, finish it up, put your toys away, that kind of thing. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, boss man, this is Spence. We got a little issue. Yeah, I have you the contact of my phone. What's up? Uh, your car is sideways. Well, what? Your car, car is, is on its side. I repeat, it is 90 degree angle. I'll flip your car back over. It'll just be, have a little dent on the side. That's it. Yeah, honestly, I kind of expected this. Here we go. No, I'll mute myself. Driving. Okay, Jiminy Christmas. All right, Big Cat, what's the plan here? We just oh, got to make a path? Oh, decided to show up. Yep, we got to clean this all as much as we can. So it said ideally remove all the snow, but they, they know that's pretty hard for us to do. What happens if we bury the train tracks in snow? It'll be really cool when the train comes. Do you think it will just plow through it? Yeah, it'll plow right through it. What do you think? It's going to derail the million pound train? I hope not. Yeah, that would be bad. How much snow do you think it would take to stop a train? Like at least five pounds? Oh no, boss man, I'm I'm stuck. I went too far into the bank. You're stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck. I I, I was kind of messing around. Drove the four wheeler too high up the bank. I need your help. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Just you got a chain or something, a bungee? I could just whack you. What if? Don't bury I me. Go. Don't bury me alive. No, don't do it. I just you know push you in the snow. Hey, don't do it, man. You got too much power. There we go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Floor it, floor it. You got it. You got it. Okay, oh. yeah. That hurt. That's a test Okay. Spot. Okay. All right. You made a mess. Nothing's fun to drive. Yeah, it's pretty slick. It's super smooth, too, when you have three axles. There's not. It's did not you, too rough. Did you say I made a mess? You're the one who got stuck in the first place. That's true. I was messing around, and I kind of was like, hey, I've never really, like, taken up one of these mountains. I wonder if I can make it. And I didn't make it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Clearly, you didn't make it. That answered that question. All right, boss man. I want to jump in your truck. You take this, uh, the four-wheeler here, and we'll see which one you like better. Okay. Get this off the mound for you. There we go. So all you got to do, hit that one button to raise and lower, and then you can just, uh, there, there's hydraulics to tell, hey, you got to start it back up. Or no, it just gets really quiet. Okay, yep. And then twist it. Twist and shout. Yep. Twist and shout. Yeah, there you go. All right. You know, it can only push so much, so don't bite oh, off more yeah. than you can chew. This thing sucks. What? It's nice because you can go forward and back really quick, too. I see. I see. Yeah, this is definitely good for smaller areas. Well, have fun with the big one. There's right. too many buttons for me to explain. Here we go. We're moving some snow. This is quite a bit of snow, though. We'll keep rolling. Here we go. Pushing, pushing. This is awesome. Heck yeah, man. Big old diesel truck moving some snow here. If I could just make like a course around here that I keep going in circles 
and keeps pushing and stuff that'd be pretty awesome and the nice thing about the v plow is you can make it into a v and then it kind of scoops all the snow and it kind of cleans up the little dribbles that you always leave behind hey boss man i kept forgetting to ask you how much are we getting paid for this oh yeah we're gonna be paid four thousand dollars wait four thousand yeah I think they got an office somewhere around here. We'll go see if I can get a check written up for us. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This was really fun, and we got a lot of snow. Hopefully, we get more in the future. If you guys want us to keep continuing the snowplow business, let us know by hitting the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Heck, what should we do next? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>